Ahoy mateys, I'm Captain Bumbles and today I'm playing some Star Trek Online and you're probably like, wow Matt, isn't this like the first, <laughs> the, 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 like the first two videos you ever did and now you're coming back to it? Yes, yes, yes I am. Let's, uh, they change it since the, uh, I play, I used to play this when uh, Atari owned it, but let's, uh, just do regular Starfleet. And everything is picture perfect and my let's see uh okay okay science tactical engineer uh, let's see Combat, stealth recon, squad tactics, tactical officer can live damage in the widest range. Let's go with a little lead shot. Oh god, son of a fucking bitch. Oh, okay. <laughs> Whoops, I thought I, went, I thought that was the, you know, proceed to the next one. Oh, okie dokie. Um... Got any better short hairs? Or better hairs. No. Romblian style haircuts. See, um, what do I want? All of, what do I want? Let's see, how about this one? That one, nope. I think we just found the dude's hairstyles. Uh, nope, no, bruh. Uh, let's see. Arthurus, uh, next generation film. Can I wear that? Play the character. I don't want to look like John Luc Picard. What zoom out? Let's see, twitchy, thoughtful, swagger. Really, that swagger? Stern, seductive. Relaxed, gruff, cute, the creature. Okay. And the brother, feminine, and stand. Uh, let's go with that one. Oh, head. Head type. Oh, I like character critters. Uh, nope, stand with. Uh, standard three tattoo. Let's see, uh, ears, hairstyle, eyebrows, everything is okie dokie. Let's see, um, when in doubt, increase the breast size. Woo! Alright, what does chest size do? Yep, yep, I know, I'm questioning my life right now. Chest depth. The most heavenly blessed. Uh, 1.1. 1. 1. Okay, uniform. 
I should already have yeah that looks good material glossy that one's shinier ah that glossy command combat it's fine as it is rank uh, ensign let's see and belt none but Sierra one Let's see, skin, bare legs. That's it, which is good with, let's see. <coughs> Combat boots. Huh? Background word Captain Abombos. Wait, formal name option uh, Captain. Let's see, Bombos. What's middle name? Uh, I don't know. Matt. We don't need a middle initial, do we? Enter the ship name. Uh, the USS. Oh, the USS. Oh, what should we? Um, bum. Oh, bum boots. Oh, what should we do? Captain Luke uh, Luke <laughs> Oh John Luke engage engage Captain engage I wanna wonder how uh, it took seven minutes of me carrying my character. <laughs> hope I'm not wasting your time. I hope it's gonna be fun to watch because I have forgotten uh not how to play the game, I just want to see how much they changed it. Uh, thank you for using ARC. Uh, sure, let's play the tutorial. Let's see how much you changed it. I hope you can hear this pretty good. Because I dumbed down the music. For, wait, where's Leonard Nimoy? Because I think they got Leonard Nimoy. After I left Starfleet, I it's made up my Nemo. life's work to reunite the Romulans with their Vulcan brothers. <clears throat> For many years, I lived among them and waged a campaign of peace. Live long. And Twenty-one years ago, the star of the Hoba system went supernova and sent a wave <coughs> of devastation across the quadrant. I promised to save the Romulan homeworld. I failed. <coughs> the planets Romulus and Remus were destroyed. And countless billions were killed. My home, my friends, my life. All our memories. Time does not stop for one man, and neither does history. The chaos in Romulan space gave the Klingon Empire an opportunity to expand its territory. Today, Jim Pak, the Chancellor of the High Council, traded diplomacy for the tip of a blade. Only in battle, Jim Pak says, is a Klingon truly Klingon. The Federation did its utmost to preserve its alliance with the Klingons, but war was inevitable. Oh, mayday no more. The Romulans want revenge for their lost world. The Dominion is rebuilding its forces. The Dominion? Now the Borg have reappeared 
and the Alpha Quadrant balances on the edge of ruin. The fate of the galaxy rests in your hands. <laughs> we will remember you, Mr. Nimoy. Graduation day. Oh, sorry. People you can interact with have icons above their heads. You can press the interaction key, default F, to talk with them. Okay. Okay. Finally, I was beginning to think you forgot what today was. Uh, what's today? Of course, I was first in line. Oh, before I forget, I think Raski is just ahead. He wanted to thank you for helping him cram for the Astrometrics final. Who is he? Boing, boing. Hey -o. There you are. I wanted to thank you for helping me pass that final. And for all the other times you've helped me. I've always admired you. I hope Starfleet recognizes all you've done to lead our class. What ship did you get? Uh, I haven't been assigned Good yet. Good luck. Before you report to Lieutenant Farah and get your assignment, you should find Tavral. She wanted to talk to you. She's just up the pathway. Okay, I'm a big fan of Star Trek. You know, uh, I, when I first started playing this game, I never, uh, I never, uh, 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 watched the TV show until now. Hey, where's my sexy uniform? Okay. Press, oh, select. Select. Okay, I'm trying Greetings. to play. Greetings, fellow Vulcan. It was good of you to encourage me to retake the linguistics final. I was willing to accept my original results, but you saw that I was not at my best that day. My score increased by 12.8% on the second attempt, well within my standard norms. Now I am qualified to serve as both a science officer and a communications officer. Oh, well, good for you. Morik would like to see you as well. He is ahead of us on the path. Live long. Your mini map shows you where your objectives are. An yeah. arrow will appear on the mini map if you are far away from your objective. Okay. How come I'm helping so many people with their homework? This doesn't sound like me. I'm usually the guy that asks for help for his homework. There you are. Getting excited <clears throat> yet? Once we finish our training cruise, we'll all be full-fledged ensigns. The buzz is, Captain Taggart hasn't named all of his senior staff yet. From what I heard, the advanced phaser training simulation is tripping people up. That's a good thing I'm a tactical officer, cause I'd be shooting everybody in computer, you better not crash on me, you son of a bitch. I'm flickering. That usually means my graphics card is having a rough day. Come on, just give me 20 minutes. Then we'll get the fuck off of you. Are you the person to talk to? Good afternoon, cadet. What can I do for you? Uh, is this for... Yes, I have the complete assignment list here. Name? Uh, Captain Luke Bumbles. Let's see. Interesting. Report to Captain Taggart. He's in the office behind me. You're going to have to ask him. Okay. Come. F. Cadet. Hey, you look funny. I did. I've been following your progress here at the <clears throat> Academy. And I must say, I'm impressed. Um, thanks. I'm just looking at your final test scores. But I don't see your results for the advanced phase of training program. I don't know what the... I want everyone on my senior staff to run that program, and I want to see good results, no exceptions. 
Uh... I did. Like I said, I've been following your career here at the Academy. If you complete that program, I can put you on my bridge. I'll ask my tactical officer to set it up. Another fine cadet like <coughs> yourself. Her scores were almost as good as yours, but her record has a few blemishes. Still, mm. I'm sure Cadet Flores will settle down and become a fine officer someday. I'll tell Flores to meet you out in the quad. Talk to her to start the phaser training, and I'll see you when you're finished. Okie dokie. It's cool that how Atari got Leonard Nimoy to voice, you know, the Star Trek game. Because originally there were no voices. It was all text based. You know, if you didn't have a problem with that, you know, then you're okay. Okay, you're the person I need to talk to. I got to. the tactical officer spot. Just what I wanted. Where'd you end up? Uh. You never did that? I thought you were Miss Extra Credit. Everyone knows that Captain Taggart expects all his top people to pass that program. <clears throat> Don't worry, okay. you'll do fine. Come on, I'll take you to the holodeck and set it up. Seems most of our class ended up on Captain Taggart's ship. Okay. Something tells me, like, I like this cool intro because in the in the original you just, oh, you're some sort of ensign on some dude's ship that's being attacked by the Borg. At least we get to, you know... Have you seen the whales in San Francisco Bay? I never seem to spot them. I sometimes forget that Boothby is a hologram. There's a whale! It seems like Did you see it? Did you just say it? Academy. There's another one! I think. Last one of the console buys the first round tonight! Uh, did I win? Setting up the training program now. I hope Holodeck 2 is your lucky Holodeck. Uh. Shoot stuff, don't die. Pretty basic, really. Phasers are in the lockers by the Holodecks. You can grab one. Let's go. To scan the area. Your tricorder will point you toward your nearest objective. <coughs> Run, 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 run. Get pistol. The pistol has been automatically equipped. Armed, armed, and dangerous. Okay. Uh, begin the program. Shoot him! Okay. While in combat, certain actions are disabled. Once you drop out of combat, more detail about ground combat will become available. Okay. <coughs> um, exit simulation. You can holster and draw your weapon with the H key. Oh, H. <coughs> well done, Cadet. You're not gonna break the Academy record. But your score was more than satisfactory. Alright. Okay. Absolutely. I have a new first officer. Congratulations. Ah, uh, first officer? Yes. You should be proud of your accomplishments here, Cadet. You have a promising career ahead of you in Starfleet. Does that make me number one? <laughs> first officer, way to go. Just a little jealous, I'll admit. Okay. <laughs> At least now you'll get to boss us all around like you've always wanted. <laughs> Let's see. I'm about to. You'll do great. <gasps> but we should head up to the shuttle bay. Everyone else is waiting there for the ceremonial send off toast. Okie dokie. Remember, your objectives lie and found on the compass as well in your mini map. Okay. Now, hear this. All cadets report to shuttle bay to prepare for departure. Run for your lives! Deborah left the shuttle bay. I might as well. All the senior <coughs> staff is waiting by the bar. 
I know Vulcans don't get nervous, but the rest of us do. And uh. this is our first real assignment. So I'm expecting an inspiring speech out of you. Something heartwarming, something... Speech? Nonsense, we're all gonna die. Well, besides me, I'm gonna get get a nice, a nice boat. Hey. Uh, lead a toast. Oh, oh, look, it's my beautiful face. Uh, yeah. All cadets, please board your shuttles. Toasting. Hey, talk to deck officer. Are you ready to head to the ship? Oh, well, let's go. So we can get blasted out of the sky by what? Borgs, maybe? <coughs> hmm. Cool. Let's go. Cool. 20 minutes. Earth space deck. I can't believe we're finally doing this. Oh, uh. Look at that. Uh, what are we looking at? There's space dock. The USS Vesta, first of her class. Uh, She's got subsystem targeting, a crew of 750, um, auxiliary phaser cannons, and even a quantum field focus controller. I can't wait to captain one someday. But here's our ship. Uh, Miranda class, <coughs> 200 crew, two forward weapon mounts, one aft. Average speed, warp, five point nothing. She's a tough <coughs> little ship, though. I think I like her. We're the final shuttle to arrive. We need to get to the bridge. <coughs> okay. I'm going to check in and then head for the bridge. See you there. Okie dokie. Name and position? Uh, uh... I have your record right here, sir. Welcome to the ship. Captain Taggart is waiting for you on the bridge. Use the turbo lift behind me. It will take you directly there. I guess when in doubt where voices are nice, just use your own development team. I guess, but then again, I don't know. Hey, Captain, why are you dressed up like Welcome in the, the next... bridge, number one. Oh. I was about to say, uh... <laughs> Early in my career, I served with a captain who called his first officer that. Oh. I always liked it. As my number one, I expect you to ensure my orders are carried out. Next and generation to reference. advise me on the best course of action in any situation. Mm -hmm. But first, we need to get out of dry dock, <coughs> get clearance from control, and close the shuttle bay doors. Then disable the tractor moorings. Alright. First, we need to get a to get the clearance. Uh, close the shuttle bay doors. Earth traffic control has cleared us to depart, sir. Very good, number one. Mm -hmm. Shuttle bay doors are closed, sir. Alrighty. Very good, number one. Okay. And release tractor. F. And back to you, Doc. Potter, take us out. One quarter impulse. Just checking to see if you were paying attention, number <coughs> one. Potter, <coughs> take us out. Maximum thrusters. To sit, right click on the chair you wish to sit in. Woohoo! <coughs> and off into space we go! Cleared from dry dock, Captain. Good. Let's start with something easy. 
Set course for Vulcan. Course lead in, sir. Engage. Moon. <clears throat> Captain, I am picking up a distress call from the SS Breakeven. Audio only. Let's hear it, Tavrell. This is the SS Breakeven. Our warp core is failing, and we are in need of assistance. Let them know we're on our way. Potter, lay in a rendezvous course. Altering course, sir. ETA three minutes. Transporter room. Prepare to beam over survivors. Sir, sensors can't read anything in the vicinity of the break even. Communications are out as well. Keep trying to hail them, Tavrell. Number one, let's discuss the situation. Um, okay. <laughs> <coughs> you heard the distress call, number one? Uh, what yeah. What do you think we should do? Uh, is this a test, sir? Absolutely not. We're the closest ship to the break-even, so it's our duty to assist. All right. Good. What do you advise? Uh... Uh... Raising the shields does seem to be a reasonable precaution. Hmm. Uh, yes, it could be I a agree. trap. Flores, raise shields. Number one, get down to the transporter room. You'll oversee the rescue effort from there. Okie dokie. Part of me's like, why are you asking me for stuff? I know it's supposed to be like a Star Trek episode, but part of me's like, strange, uh, the warp core shouldn't affect. <coughs> I'm getting some weird readings. <coughs> I can't get a solid lock. There may be interference. Mm. Trying to compensate. I think I have it. Mm. This is a lot different than the training scenarios. <coughs> Beaming them over now. Yeah, maybe a uh, Klingon Klingons. attack squad. This vessel is now property of Captain Kadak of the IKS Chalk. Not the kitty cat, man, you evil bastards. <coughs> Doc, security is reporting disruptive fire in the transporter room. And Klingon transporter signal. You have the command codes to unlock an armory near your position. Arm yourself, and we still have weapons. I'll do what I can. For now, I need you to concentrate on getting those Klingons off my ship. Yeah, apparently I walked. Uh, get a rifle. Uh, that is not a rifle, that is a pistol. Wait. A phaser sniper rifle? Oh, uh, what? Should I say so myself? Okay, I was trying to use the controller, but fuck the controller. You have recovered a hypo spray. You can use this to quickly heal any damage you may have suffered. Whoa, desktop audio is way too loud. <coughs> oh, bye bye, Klingon. Go to options, audio.
Sarah not responding. Okay. Fuck you. <clears throat> Stabilizing Catman. Fuck you. Jesus, we're getting fucking nuked. <coughs> Okie dokie. Number one, we're doing our best to cripple this Klingon uh. order, but I need your help. Time to... <coughs> Thank God for being a tactical officer for be raided. We know how to blow up some bitches. Reaching clear, Star Trek style. Have <coughs> <coughs> we shot everybody? No, apparently not. Let's power up the Torfon torpedoes and blow the shit out of them. Wait. <coughs> God damn it. I got a buddy of Matt. I got a buddy of mine that's like Matt. You should clear your throat before you uh, do a video. I'm like, I'm sorry, man. <laughs> my no my crap in my nose has a mind of its own. <clears throat> Number one, we've got injured up here, and the Klingons could send a boarding party at any time. I need you back on the bridge. Aye aye. Go see to the bridge. We will secure this area. Sprinting back at the full power of sprintiness. And turbo left bridge. Uh, I have a gun and I'm not afraid to use it. This is not a drill. Uh, F. Oh. 
Incoming transmission from the Klingons. This is Captain Kayak of the IKS chart. You may have forced my boarding parties mm. off your decks, but our ship remains cloaked. You have no hope of finding us or defeating us. Your choice, perhaps your captain will Order your crew to surrender, Captain, or I will blow them out of the sky. It's your choice, Captain. Mm. Do you want these children to die? Very well. Number one. You are now the captain of the ship. Your orders... Your orders are to lock onto my combat and fire! Pegatosa! He died honorably. Make me proud. Blow the shit out of them. We have target lock, Captain. Fire. <laughs> Pew. You can have shields up, what cloak, bitches. Signal. What now? Uh, let's pursue them. Okay. F. We survive, <coughs> but the captain. And this is the part we should begin. Okay. Boat simulation. Well, this video is slowly sailing to a close. Oh, uh, yes. Mm -hmm. uh, this video is slowly sailing to a close. If you like this video, feel free to let me know. But anyway, fire the cannons. Uh,